Welcome to this presentation from the Downey Seventh-day Adventist Church. We are located in the greater Los Angeles area at 9820 Lakewood Boulevard in Downey, California. We would love to have you worship with us any Saturday you are in our area. Today's message is what is important. Now, here's Pastor Kerry. I like that praise team. Bill looked like the chaperone there, right? The men on this side, the women on the other side. That was good. That was good. Well, it's Memorial Day weekend. And um, while it is the time we have Monday off and it's the time for, for barbecues and, and baseball games and whatever we do for our, our holidays, um, let us not forget what is important. Um, I remember or yesterday, um, I was getting my hair cut. How's it look? Pretty good, right? Um, anyways, I was at, um, at the, um, right here at Supercut, and there was a guy there. Um, he had a U.S. Navy hat, an older guy, and I said, you must have served. He served in the um, World War II, the South Pacific, right? And he was trying to, um, he was sharing with me just that it was, it was really rough what he went through. And imagine, you know, you think about our lives, we have it good, right? Our biggest problem is we forgot to DVR our favorite show or something like that. But here, someone who was, who was, who was getting shot at, whose friends are dying all around them, um, just for the, the purpose of of standing firm for what he believes in, um, that, that this place, the United States of America, is a place worth defending um, for the freedoms that we have. Um, that's what's important um, for this, this weekend. And does anybody here have served in the military? We have Norm, our faithful Norm, praise God. Anybody has had a relative who have, may have died in a war that you know of. Anybody here? We have a few, right? Yeah. Well, I, well praise God. Well, let's us always have, a, a, have them in our memories, a gratitude in our hearts for those that have, have, um, who have passed away in, uh, because of, of defending our freedoms. So, but let's pray. Father, Lord, thank you so much for this good day, the Sabbath. Thank you, Father, for um, the ability to be here and worship you. Um, thank you, Father, for, for um, um, just all the blessings you give us. And, and Lord, as we reflect on this weekend and what it means for people who have um, um, defended this country, uh, Lord, help us to, to always have in our memories um, and our thoughts Help us to acknowledge, uh, help us to have a sense of gratitude for the people that have done things for our behalf, Lord. Um, and Lord, I pray as we open your word, as we, um, as we study, Father, uh, may you, you open our hearts and our minds, give us the understanding we need today. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. So, what is important? John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Um, ultimately, that is, you know, in purity what Memorial Day weekend is about. Someone who is willing to die for others, which is... Jesus, right, willing to die for others. Um, again, that is what's important. You know, m remembering things that are important. I mean, you th we have lots of things in our lives, in our minds. We can remember, you know, so much. Think of your earliest event, um, your earliest childhood memory. Um, I can remember as a kid riding a big wheel, that's, um, you know, in my front yard, my house. That seems to be my earliest memory. But, and then you, you remember the things in your life and um, the things that you had on. You, you might remember interesting s 
silly things that have happened or remember the big events that happened. Um, like the first time I met my grandfather. My grandfather was, um, he was World War II. We're from Estonia, right? He was, we thought he was dead um, during World War II. Um, he was actually sent to Siberia. And my, my grandma thought he was dead and he remarried right? She remarried. Um, and, and then found out, like in the 1970s, that he was still alive. And he came to America, and I get to meet my grandfather um, for the very first time. That's a big memory in my life, right? So, and you guys all have, you know, things that we remember. Some of you um, could remember. And another thing that's kind of Silly is my brother and I used to, we collect baseball cards. And I knew the statistics of every single player. You know, I could tell you how many home runs um, Ron Say hit, 1977, right? These are different kind of memories that I have. Um, you guys might have a certain memory of like, pop culture and so on. I remember playing my wife when I first met her in Trivia Pursuit, and I was doing well because I learned a lot of useless facts while she spent time studying on what's important, right? Right? So we fill our, our minds with all kinds of stuff, um, all kinds of things, and some things are not that important, and some things are really important. But sometimes we put those things that are not that important onto the important side. And the things that are really important in the not important side. So it's important to remember what is important. But that's a lot of importance. <laughs> right? So we have a, a story in the Bible, Joshua, where we learn about memory or memorial or remembering what's important. Uh, this is a story when the whole nation had finished crossing. This is John, Joshua 4, 1 we start. When the whole nation had finished crossing the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, okay, this is the river of Jordan, right? This is a, an epic event that is happening here. Why? Because they were, they were once in Egypt, and then they spent 40 years in the wilderness. Um, we, we, Moses leading them. Moses dies. But think of all these experiences that they had. And finally, they're entering into their promised land. After 40 years, they are crossing the river into the promised land. This is a, a big moment. What are your big moments in your life? When you got married, when you had a child, right? When you, right? When you got a job, when you hit your first home run in Little League. I still hadn't had that theory, um, right? What are these big moments in your life? This is, this is huge, right? So what they did, they chose 12 men from among the people, one from each tribe, and tell them to take up 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan, from the right where the high priests were standing. And they carried them over with you and put them down at a place where you stay tonight. So, okay, this is, it's not, it's just one thing. Okay, remember how they crossed. If we were to go back and how they crossed, they took the Ark of the, the priests, took to, went to the, uh, with the Ark of the Covenant, they stood in the middle of the river, right? It wasn't just the fact that they were crossing the river, but how they crossed the river. The, ark, the priests um, held the Ark of the Covenant and they stood in the middle of the river. And you know what? It was like the Red Sea event. It stopped. The water stopped flowing. And the people could walk through, Right? God intervened. God intervened to pave the way for them to get through. 
Okay, so what is important to remember? One of the things is where has God intervened in your life? Right? Let's chalk that as the very important side. Not so important, memorizing um, silly things. Right? What is important? What has God done for you in your life? They just had this miracle. So think about it. What has God done for you? And sometimes we forget, right? Sometimes we go through life and we just like, oh man, oh no. You know, you're kind of back to making the, the same bad choices and the same bad mistakes and you forgot, man, you know, 10 years from now, 10 years ago, I was, I was on a pathway to, to destruction, to, to H-E double hockey sticks. Right? If I'm allowed to say that. Right? And we remember, and God did something and said, hey, God sent this person in my life. God spoke to my heart and I, I, and I said, Lord, get, you, know, you know, I made a decision. I'm going to follow you, Lord. And then time goes on. We kind of forget what God has done in our lives. We lose faith. We go back to our old ways. We live like nothing had happened. But something happened here. Miraculously, this, the miracle of the, the covenant, the Ark of the Covenant, stand, the priest standing, and the river stops. Something amazing happened. Not just that. What it means is they're entering into the promised land. They are home. This is important. So what they did, choosing 12 men from each among the, the people, one of each tribe, and tell them to take up 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan, from the right where the priests are standing, and carry them over with you, and put them down at, at the, the place where you stay tonight. Oh, I read that already. And then verse, continuing. So Joshua called together the 12 men he had appointed from the Israelites, one from each tribe, and said to them, go over before the ark of the Lord, your God, in the middle of the Jordan. Each of you is to take up stones on his shoulders according to the number of tribes of the Israelites. And you, to serve as a sign among you in the future when your children ask you, what do these stones mean? So, okay, there's two sets of stones, 12 stones here. This is the first one. They, what they were to do was to take stones. Each tribe were to take 12 stones and put them right in the middle of the river. And, you know, a lot of it's not written about why they were to do this, but it, it can symbolize many things. One does it symbolize all the people that didn't make it. Do you know Moses, right? He couldn't cross the promised land. He saw too much bloodshed, right? Right? He couldn't go. And like Memorial Day, that's, this is this, is, this um, sign of remembrance by putting these stones is like the classic Memorial Day experience. What do we do? It's hard to celebrate. Like, like this guy who, is, who, who I saw at, the, at, at Supercuts the other day, um, you know, we have Veterans Day for people who, who served in the military, but he's still alive, right? Memorial Day are for people who have passed away, right? Who couldn't make it through, who died in battle. So we have the 12 stones of the, of the people who didn't survive, who, who went through the, the, um, the 40 years of wilderness, who aren't going past and going through. But they were still a part of you, and they were a part of your life, and they were still with you. And it was just so important to remember. And it helps you reflect. It could have been you that didn't make it, right? Could have been you that didn't make it. So 
some ways, it's important to remember the part of your life, the hardships, the, ba- the, the hard times of your life, to, to reflect, to realize, if it wasn't for the grace of God, if it wasn't for the miracle of God, if it wasn't for the, the priest in our covenant stopping the water from flowing, we wouldn't get through, you know, we wouldn't have made it. Think about how far would you have gone without God in your life, right? I have this kind of this, I have BC before Christ in my life and AD, I should be AC after, or you know, before Christ in your life, how far would you have gone? Or how, right? Without Christ interve- interventing in your life, without Christ having an impact in your life, where would you be without him? Anybody doing pretty good without him? No one, right? It's always important. This is the stones in the middle of the river realizing without Christ we would not have made it. It's always important to remember where you would been where you were without Christ in your life, right? So we have further. And so that, tell them then that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, the waters of, the, of Jordan were cut off And these stones are to be a memorial to the people of Israel forever. You know, one of the things is I feel like we in life we've we've made things have made things too superficial. We draw importance of things that don't matter. I remember a long time ago, there was a guy, uh, there was a um, TV show I liked. And in it, one of the lead characters died at the show. And I was like, oh, how could that have happened? Why? Right? I was distraught for hours. My life will cease to exist because of this, right? And what is a TV show? It's someone's imagination. It's not real. The person didn't really die. The actor is someone else, right? But I was like, whoa, that was weird. Why would I let that affect you? Why am I talking to you like this? But anyways, (laughs) right? Right? And so we put meaning in things that really have no meaning, right? Things that are not really that important in the long run. What do you, you know, we all have our little hobbies and habits and, and the things that we think are important to us. But yeah, you know, okay, fine. But sometimes, that's fine. But sometimes we make those meanings more important. Like I remember... You know, don't call my dad during football time. He won't have, he don't want to talk to you, right? Right? And I was like, okay, what's more important? Your son or football? Right? Right? I mean, I I could call him a different time. But just in general, right? What is more important, right? What, think about in your life, what is most important? And what are you spending your energy on? Is it on what is most important? Or is it on things that don't matter so much? Am I making sense? Right. So here, they had this unbelievable experience and they put these rocks into the, into, the, into the river as a memory, as a memory that will be with them forever. 
a memory. What most important, they were, they were finally home. They, they made it to the promised land, right? How many know the date you were baptized? If you, if you know the date you were baptized, I want you to shout it out. Ready? One, two, three, go. That was a lot of mumbling to me. All right, right? That's a big event, right? Mine was September 19, 1992, I think. Right? That's a big event in my life. Something to remember. This is the day I, I gave my life to the Lord. That is important to remember. Right? Um, and we should do things to, to make us, remind us to remember what is important. Like, you know, spending time in the Word of God is reminding us, you know, what is important. Your devotions in the morning, your prayer time, all these things are, are times that, that help us remember what is most important. Spend time with your family. Do things that, that um, you know, stay away from things that are just wasted idleness stuff, right? You can spend five hours doing nothing, and it means nothing, right? Focus on your life, focus on things, what really truly matters. All right, Joshua 4.8. So the Israelites did as Joshua commanded them. They took the 12 stones from the middle of the, of the Jordan according to the number of the tribes of Israelites as the Lord had told them, told Joshua, and they carried them over to them to their camps where they put them down. Joshua set up the 12 stones that had been in the middle of the, of the Jordan at the spot where the, where the priest who carried the Ark of the Covenant had stood, and they are there to this day. <sighs> you know, Memorial Day, we, we've lost someone in our church that I didn't get to know, but was loved by our church, by Marilyn Morris, right? Right? And some of you will go to the memorial service and you start, you, you look at the memorial service and, and every time I, I have an opportunity to go to one, I realize how important it is when someone loses their life and they share their life story, how important our lives are. You know, it gives us a sense of priority. Every time I go to someone's life, a, a memorial service, I look at their life and I see, oh man, the mistakes that they made, um, the things that are important, the family and stuff like that. No one really cares about their great accomplishments half the time, but whether they, they loved, that person was loved by their, their relatives and things like that, by how giving they were or how, how positive they were, right? Um, So, like Memorial, Memorial Day, we start to see, again, this weekend, what is important. Um, next here, it says Joshua 4, 20 to 21. We skip ahead, and there's the second group of stones. Um, it says, and Joshua set up at Gilga the 12 stones that had taken out of Jordan, he said of the Israelites, in the future, when your descendant asked their parents, what do these stones mean? Right? And what is important here, your life, your legacy, it isn't just important for you. It's important for, for, for the, your children and for your grandchildren. It's the, your life here, the way you live your life, what you do is what you make is important, is what you teach the people around you. And they're saying, okay, I don't want your descendants to ever forget how the Lord had worked in your life. Right? It's like your children, if they had this opportunity. Hey, dad, mom, what's the most important in life? What are you going to say? Oh, you know, 
that afternoon siesta is the most important thing in life. Although that is pretty important. Make sure you get your sleep. Ah, uh, you know, the most important thing in life is that you're able to um, do whatever you want and not care about anybody else. That's probably not very good advice, right? And here, what's most important here is this. Tell them Israel crossed the Jordan on dry ground. For the Lord your God dried up the Jordan before you until you had crossed over. The Lord God did to the Jordan what he had done to the Red Sea when he died it, dried it up before us until we have crossed over. It's saying God is real. God is powerful. God can do all things. God is leading you. God is, um, God is guiding you. God is taking you away from this, can do, take you away from all your problems and, and struggles, and it helps you, right? God is bringing you salvation. God is a God of miracles. Does the world need to remember this? Do we in our own lives, in whatever circumstances of our lives, need to remember how powerful our God is? Do you want our children to know how powerful our God is? Right? It's important to remember. And then finally, he did this so that all the people of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful and so that you might always fear the Lord your God. What is important? We live our lives and we have billboards and marketing and all kinds of noise all around us to try to tell you this is what's important. Right? Tell you, oh, you need this. Oh, you need to do this. You need to think this way. You need to, to um, go over here. You need to follow me. All these noises, all these things around. Oh, if you can just have, you know, drink this, eat this, buy this, you will be happy, right? And we live our lives focused, getting sucked into um, thinking these things are important when they're not. What is important is what God has done for us and what God is doing for us in our lives and paying attention to what God is doing and submitting to God as he's speaking to you, as he's leading you, following him. That is what's important. And remember that don't get discouraged even when bad times are happening because God, here's a, here's a, here's a memorial, how powerful he is. He's going to see you through. Right? Let us remember. Never forget. Let us live our day, our week, our month, never forgetting how powerful our God is. Let us pray. Father, Lord, thank you so much for who you are. We look at our lives and a lot of us, we spend a lot of time focusing on things that really don't matter forgetting the things that really do. This weekend, we remember and share gratitude for those that have died in battle. But Lord, may every day be a memorial day to you, that we remember you, what you have done for us, what you continually doing for us. Remember the power that you, that you have that you are a God of miracles that can do all things. Help us remember by putting our trust, our faith, our faithfulness 
to you, Lord. We pray all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.